Neighbors agree there was something wrong with Kim Noyce. The 42-year-old Grand Forks woman is the prime suspect in the murder of a 12-year-old boy. She was located without incident mid-Tuesday afternoon in Grand Forks. John Fulton, a highly functioning autistic child, was found dead Monday. Police didn't have to look far to find the body. John lived next door. Right now, Noyce has a history of mental together. illness, suffering from bipolar disease. With Neighbor with Teresa with Taylor with says night. Noyce was a recluse. Um, she had been difficult to deal with sometimes. There's a few people in the neighborhood who'd had some interactions with her and found her to be a little bit aggressive. Nice kid, you know? Neighbor Roxanne Erickson yeah. saw John shortly before he went missing. He she says John was sitting on his yeah, front step like playing a video game. It's just hard to believe that somebody would hurt an innocent 12-year-old, you know? And we're like a family here. She says she was aware the noise was suffering from mental health issues. I knew she was depressed, but this is just too much. You know, obviously she was in worse shape than we thought. As the city of Grand Forks comes to terms with the death of this young child, the makeshift shrines are beginning to show up, particularly one here at the Gables, where the young victim used to live. Meantime, the mayor of Grand Forks, Brian Taylor, says it's going to take some time for the community to recover the mothers that are that are nervous about letting their children out of their sight and this is the kind of community where kids walk to school and where you know if your kids are out playing with somebody for a couple hours you're not nervous about it so uh, it's a loss of innocence for the community in Grand Forks Kelly Hayes Castanet Media